What's up YouTube? This is Inventory King. Are your African cichlids prepared for you to take a vacation? I would say almost everybody takes vacations throughout the year. If it's for a short period of time, you're going to probably be okay. But if you have an extended vacation, you know, a week uh, or more, there is some preparing that needs to take place in order for your African cichlids to thrive while you, the fish keeper, are away. Now, if your vacation is only going to last a weekend, you're probably going to be okay. But what happens when you're gone for a week or more? You're starting to get into them not being fed. You're starting to get into them not getting a water change. Uh, there are lots of little things that start coming into play when you're talking about not attending to your African cichlids for a week. So one thing I like to do the day before I leave on my vacation is do water changes. Because if I'm gonna be gone for a week or just over a week, I know that if I do that water change the day before I leave, when I come back, they're due for another water change, but it's not gonna be too far past when I normally do my water changes. So that's step number one. Number two is making sure the fish get fed. I personally would trust a human being over a machine when it comes to feeding the fish. There are automatic food feeders, um, but what I recommend is finding a friend uh, or family member who is willing to feed your fish while you are gone. As the fish keeper, it is extremely important for us to leave detailed information for the people watching our fish, like when to feed, how much to feed, how often to feed. If somebody doesn't know how to take care of African cichlids and you don't leave any details for them, they may overfeed your fish. And overfeeding could lead to a lot of problems. So you can write everything down on a piece of paper for them or something I like to do, which has worked for me, is you can go to your uh, arts and crafts store and pick up one of these markers. This is a chalk marker and this allows you, you shake it, and it allows you to write on the glass, and it is okay for acrylic. And what I'll do is I will just write down on one of the sides that feed X amount of North Fin cichlid formula on these days, and feed X amount of Krill Pro on these days. It's on the tank, there's no way for anyone to forget how much to feed, because they may have lost the paper that you gave them, it's on the tank. So that's another thing, is detailed feeding information for the person watching your fish, because we know what we're doing because this is our passion, but someone who doesn't keep fish, it's not their passion, so they're not gonna know what to do. So we need to do our due diligence um, and make sure we have detailed information for these people. Another thing to let them know is to check the equipment. A few off the top of my head are gonna be the filters, the heaters, the lights, the power heads, um, and depending on what else you may have or you may not have that I just listed, let them know to check the equipment. We all know as the owners of the aquariums, we may notice the slightest difference that's out of the norm, like the canister filter. Let them know, put their hand on the filter, make sure it's running or check the overflows, the uh, intake and outtake. The other thing would be, look at the heaters. If the light comes on and off, you know it's good. Also, if it's daytime and you look close enough, you can see the water, like the heat coming off the water uh, from the heater um, to check the power heads to make sure that they are not seized. And the lights, you know, we don't want lights on all day long on our, our fish either. So let them know to check the equipment, extremely important. It's also important to let the person know to look at the fish after they feed them and make sure everything looks okay. Make sure the fish are eating, make sure that they are not lethargic, make sure that they look healthy because if they're not, I know me, I'm gonna wanna get a call, hey, this fish is acting like this, I don't know what's going on. Well, us as the fish keeper, we're gonna have a really good idea by getting a description from that person and giving them instructions on what to do. 
So to recap, water change the day before, very detailed feeding instructions. You can use these markers, these chalk markers, and write it on the tank itself. And uh, so the detailed information is right there, not any place a person's gonna forget, they're gonna see it when they come to feed the fish. Let them know to check the equipment. And to also let them know to keep an eye on the fish and make sure that they are healthy. Um, these are four things that uh, I like to do um, because it's our responsibility to make sure that the person watching our fish knows everything. Please comment, like, subscribe, and stay tanked.